Hey everybody, this is Claire, and this is Small Joyful Things. As always, I go to thrift stores, or I go out to estate sales, or sometimes I buy things from Craigslist. I try to find out as much as I can about them, and then I tell you guys about them. So, here's what I got for you today. And this is something really cool. A little bit more space than normal. I have this amazing object. Um, if you don't know what you're looking at, this is a cocktail shaker. It has a brass top. It twists off. It's very finely fitting, obviously. And you can see it's got quite a lot of damage or whatever onto it. There's a lot of discoloration. Uh, as far as I can tell, this is definitely brass. But you can see just from looking at the inside, this has obviously been used quite a bit. It has no marks on it, unfortunately. But it is very finely made. And you can see that it's been gilt on the outside and then frosted here gilt down at the end and the base i have to say that the gilt there is actually held up very very well it looks really really lovely and it has a polished base which is also held very well a few <laughs> a little bit of minor dirt dirt issues aside so yeah this is a cocktail shaker this would have been this would have been used obviously to mix up cocktails um, I bought it for $10 in a thrift store. That is really more than I like to pay for just about anything when I'm picking up this kind of stuff in thrift stores. But I saw it and I had a feeling I knew what it was and I had to have it because I just, I just loved it so much. This is, uh, this is Art Deco. This is very, very Art Deco. This is straight out of the roaring 1920s. I can just imagine like someone being in a party in a flapper dress with, you know, huge jewellery and, and, and silver and gold and lava and, and like lavish surroundings. And, uh, you know, and uh, the barkeeper basically, you know, standing behind the bar and, you know, in the nice white shirt and the bow tie and then just mixing up cocktails using something like this. It really has like a, it's got a Hollywood Regency kind of feel to it. It's got like, you know, the, like the, the extravagance of the 1920s going into it. So this is an antique. Uh, it's from, it's from the, probably the 1920s, 1930s, the latest. It is also Bohemian. So, um, so, you know, just the, the, the that kind of general area of the, of the, of the Czech Republic. Um, it is wonderfully finely made. It's quite heavy as well, especially on the base. Now, the reason that I got it is because uh, Art Deco as a style is just something that I absolutely love. And it gives me a chance to kind of talk a bit about something that I absolutely love. Because, okay, normally I go and actually get my iPad and I'm going to show you stuff. I'm doing something different now. So I've got this to show you. Now, this is a book that I picked up uh, quite, quite a number of years ago. Um, when I went to Oakland in, in, in the United States, in, in San Francisco. And I had a chance to finish, to visit the the, uh, the Paramount Theatre in Oakland. And the Paramount is, uh, it is a, a theatre that was built right back in, the back in the 1910s, 1920s. And it is a real kind of like marvel of Art Deco design. And it's been restored and it's this perfectly preserved kind of, kind of house of Art Deco. It is absolutely beautiful. And it's been so, so incredibly restored. It's like stepping back into the 1920s. And I could absolutely imagine this little cocktail shaker being used for the theatre. For, for like you have all basically the, like the rich people in like furs and suits and what have you. And walking into the Paramount Theatre and you know, being served drinks and everything. And, the, and this is the kind of thing they would have used in the bar. So if you've never actually seen the Paramount um, and if you're ever actually in Oakland, I really cannot possibly recommend it enough because it is absolutely beautiful, like inside and out, especially this is actually the outside of the theater. If you see it, there's like the, like the, like basically the sign over the door down there and they have this enormous panels going all the way up of these two Art Deco figures with all of these different, like all this little icon iconographies of like the of entertainment and spectacle. Now, I will show you some pictures from the book just for just for hell of it. This is the 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 lobby and the entry. It's it's like this amazing kind of glass waterfall that has all of this kind of things like vines, things that looks like a jungle canopy. I can I can't imagine what it must have been like just walking in here in the nineteen twenties. It must have been incredible. But this this is part of the reason that I love Art Deco design like so much. <laughs> like I mean, this is the this is what the inside of it looks like. It's just. It's just amazing. Every inch of this, every inch of the theatre is like a, 
basically like this, 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 this kind of altar to Art Deco, the design itself. This is the carpet. I remember walking on this back in, back when I actually visited. And, you know, we got to, we found all this amazing information about the lengths that they'd gone to, to restore the whole area. I, this, I have to say, was amazing, especially like the, the big table and everything. This is like the, the you know, just before you got into the, it was just before you got into like the, <laughs> into the big theatre itself, obviously, is, you know, this kind of the entryway. And the bathrooms were, <laughs> were even incredible. <laughs> the, a lot of the original furniture was preserved. This was... These are pieces from the smoking room, the ladies' smoking room, which I have to say were just amazing. The white pieces you hear are not actually white, they were done in silver, they would have glowed. And if I can get a picture, this is some of the designs. And I'm hoping I'll have a picture here of the actual the grand, but here you go. There's like the grand kind of theatre itself with the, this enormous stage with the curtains and everything that was kept original. This enormous soundboard was all carved stone. Like the, the, the organ that was kept in the back here was all original. Like, I, I loved being there so much. And ever since I've been to the Paramount, I have loved Art Deco and the style and the look of Art Deco. So, understandably, as soon as I saw this, I thought, oh my God, that's so Art Deco. I have to pick it up. Now, the question is, what am I actually going to do with it? Now, bearing in mind that I don't drink at all, and I certainly don't drink cocktails, and although it is lovely and it really pleases me to hold it and to admire it, I don't think I'm going to be able to keep it because I don't have enough room for any of the, I don't have enough room for anything of the things I get. Um, I just, I love it and I want to be able to share it with you guys, but I think it's probably going to be going up on eBay. One like this, being it's an antique and it's in, you know, the condition is kind of average, it's probably worth about maybe 40 or $50 at most. I will probably sell it for less than that. I hope someone is going to really love it so there you go guys there is my small joyful thing for today i really hope you like it as well and thank you very much for watching